Are you curious about how to help protect Maine's environment during COVID times? Hi, I'm Kristen Jackson, NRCM's Digital Outreach Manager, and I'm here to give you some tips on delivering testimony remotely before the Maine Legislature. NRCM has been working to protect the nature of Maine for over 60 years, but this year the Maine Legislature developed new rules for submitting testimony online, which it's never done before. In this video, I'll give a quick review of the legislative process and then talk about how you can submit testimony to either oppose or support a bill via Zoom or via the phone. Make sure to also check out my colleague Todd Martin's video on how to deliver and develop compelling testimony. All right, let's start with the legislative process or how a bill becomes a law. At the beginning of a two-year legislative session, legislators submit thousands of bills. Each bill receives an LD number and is referred to a committee where it receives a public hearing. The public hearing is the best opportunity for the public to weigh in on the contents of the bill. Once the bill is referred out of committee with either a recommendation to pass or not pass the bill, it goes to the House and the Senate. If it's approved by both chambers, it goes to the governor's desk. If it's approved by the governor, it becomes law. If it gets rejected at any point in that process, the bill is no longer considered. Okay, so now that we're reminded quickly of the process, let's talk about how you can weigh in in an upcoming public hearing. This year, all committee hearings will be held on Zoom webinar, which you'll join if you're planning to testify live. They'll also be streamed on YouTube for those of you who just want to tune in. If you have never used Zoom webinar, I recommend checking out some of Zoom's tutorials on their website, which we'll link below, but we'll also walk you through it here. The first step is to know when the hearing is on the bill that you want to testify on. Make sure that you're signed up for NRCM's action alerts, and we'll let you know via email, or you can follow our bill tracking page, which we update when there's been action on the bills that we're following. And this is how we know that it's time to invite you to weigh in. Next, you need to register for the hearing that you want to testify at and submit written testimony if you have it prepared. To do that, go to mainlegislature.org slash testimony. Here, you'll select the committee, the date of the hearing, the bill that you want to testify on, and then if you're planning to present your testimony live, you'd select, I would like to present my testimony live. This will reload the page so that you can choose whether you're for, against, or neither for nor against the legislation. To submit written testimony, you can either upload a file by hitting this choose file button or type your testimony in this box here. Next, add your first and last name, either the city or town that you live in or an organization you represent, your email address, your phone number, and hit this I am not a robot box before hitting submit and register to sign yourself up. You need to make sure to do this at least 30 minutes before the hearing begins so that you have time to get the information from the committee clerk on how to join the webinar. Once you've signed up on the main legislator website, you'll receive an email from the committee clerk with a link to register to the Zoom webinar hearing. You'll click this link, fill out your information, and immediately get another email with a link to join the webinar. When it's time to join the hearing, you'll click the link emailed to you from Zoom and you'll join as an attendee. This means that you'll be able to hear and see the committee members, but they will not be able to hear or see you. When it's time for you to testify on the bill, the chair will call on people who have registered to testify by scrolling through the alphabetical list of attendees on the Zoom webinar. When it's nearly your turn, you'll be promoted from an attendee to a panelist which allows you to speak using your audio and appear by video. During this transition, you'll see a box with a blue spooling circle and a message that says joining. Be patient, this may take about five to seven seconds. Once that's done, you'll see your video on screen. Remain muted and wait for the clerk or the chair to call on you. Once it's your turn, you'll unmute your audio and deliver your testimony. You will likely only have three minutes to speak, so you'll want to practice to ensure that you get your message across in the time available to you. Once you're finished testifying, the clerk will change your status back to that of an attendee. 
At this point, you'll see that blue spooling circle again and the committee will no longer be able to hear or see you. It's recommended that you leave the Zoom meeting at this time by hitting the leave or X button and finish watching the hearing on the YouTube channel. And that's it. We have more resources on our website for navigating this process at nrcm.org take action. If you want more tips on developing and delivering compelling testimony, make sure to check out my colleague Todd Martin's video.